JLTV is a replacement for the Humvee. The Humvee was first fielded to the Marine Corps in 1984. It is 1970s technology. It has done a great job. It achieved its mission in the 70s, 80s, 90s, and got us through the first couple years in OIF and OEF in the start of the 21st century. But the changing of the battlefield, the requirement to have armor capability with an engine that can basically carry the, uh, the additional weight necessitated the need for a JLTV. We started uh, training Marines last October, and the reception has been very positive, both in the capability of the JLTV to uh, operate over land and on secondary and cross-country roads, as well as the features. It restores payload, performance, and protection to the Marine Corps, giving us back the uh, payload that we lost when we started armoring up Humvees, but it affords us the protection that we need to operate in a 21st century environment. The number one advantage is the protection. You are providing survivability to the Marines from a JLTV or from a vehicle that's been designed from the ground up. So you have ballistic protection, you have mine protection, you have IED protection. Back up, camp. The JLTV has a 340 horsepower Duramax engine that's dressed out by Gale Banks. It gives it a capability to drive over 70 miles an hour, has over 300 miles of range per fuel tank. It has uh, over 22 inches of wheel travel, which means when you drive over railroad ties or large rocks, the air over hydraulic suspension system reduces a lot of the shock and the vibration that the operator would feel. The first 5,500 JLTVs will begin delivery on 28 February and we will have the last of those fielded by 2023.